Okay, today we're gonna measure a condenser coil on a roof. This is a bent coil, which we manufacture at Specialty Coils to replace your existing unit that had either been ruined with hail, somebody threw a rock in it, it has a hole in it and leaking. We can replace just the coil. We don't have to replace the whole unit. When I come up to a coil, I wanna measure the finned area is the first thing you want to look at this coil as just being the fins at first. So first thing we want to do is measure a height. We're getting 28 inches. So we know the coil is 28 inches tall. Okay, now we want to measure the legs on the bent part of this coil. What I like to do is you want to start from the end of the finned area, and I like to come out and measure the end of the actual unit. I'm getting 33 inches to the end of the actual unit. And what I do is I back off a half inch and call it 32 and a half inches long. So we will just put 32 and a half inches. Come to the next leg, starting from the beginning. Coming out to 21 inches, back off a half inch, call it 20 and a half. Now, we want to find out how many fins per inch this coil has. Just take your tape measure, find a good spot where you can find the fins that are evenly spaced. Put your tape measure right on the one of those fins and just start counting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So just count that one inch of fins. That will tell us the area that this coil is finned with 17 fins per inch. Then we will come over here in the open area of this coil and we can find out how this coil is actually operating with circuitry header diameters, connection locations, and find out about the bracket, what size brackets we need to put on here. We start at the bottom and work our way through a circuit. This right here goes to a collection header. So we just close it off, show it going to a collection header. Then we have a return bin. This next connection is just open, making this have this coil has a subcooling circuit. I mark that just by putting a circle around there, and I know that's just going to be an open tube. Then we're coming back. We have. A collection header location, two return bins, and now we have our hot gas. Oh, oh. Another collection header, 
application. Turn bins. One way that you can find out the circuiting if you can't see the whole coil right. is stick your hand on one of the headers and count the low, count how many tubes are going into it. I have one, two, three, four. I have four tubes going into the hot gas. So I know that this coil is going to have four circuits. I'm showing four circuits. I have one, two, three, four, and then I have my subcooling circuit at the bottom. The next thing we want to do is we want to find out as much as possible about the headers. We can take a tool like this that we offer, specialty coils. Now we can check and make sure all the OD diameters are correct. Just come in here, find the best fit. You know that's a half inch OD collection header. Another half inch OD hot gas header. So we can mark all these half inch OD. And this will allow for easier reconnecting of a new coil. So everything will be the same as the existing one. Now, you also want to find out about the room that you have in this coil. You don't want to interfere with any of the wiring, any of the boxes. You have to make sure this coil is going to fit where this we're taking this one out. So what I like to do is come from the end of the bracket, if at all possible. And I'm getting about two and three quarter inches to this wiring right here. And up here, I'm getting about three and a half inches to this electrical box. So what I want to do is I want to put on my workup sheet a maximum of two and three quarter inch spacing from the end of the header to the bracket. Now as connections are going to go, we have an open end tube to a 5 16 OD connection right here. And then we have the hot gas, which is going to connect at the end right there. And you just get in there and just at the best of your ability, measure how far you are from the bottom of the coil to the center line of that tube, which I'm getting about two and a quarter inches. Measure the length. Seven inches. Then a height of three inches.
So I know this coil. It's going to take this path. You don't have to be a perfect artist, as I'm not. Just a note. Some of your dimensions. And always remember whenever you get back to an office to desk, you can clean this up. Today's a beautiful day. Usually it's hot on the roof. You can always clean it up and as long as you have the information so you'll ne you won't forget by the time you get to where you're ordering the coil. You can clean it up and make more sense of it. And I always like to come back and work my circuit. I've got return being there our hairpin hairpin there which completes this subcooling circuit hairpin 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 which is going to complete this hot gas to the collection header circuit Make sure your circuit always makes sense. Twenty-eight tubes tall. All my circuits have an in and an out. And whenever you get this coil to where you want it, always remember there is a model number on these coils and we are building a catalog and have a, an extensive catalog of popular coils that we replace daily. And you can always have this information on the unit. It's very handy to get. They have, a, just write down the model number. The YSC 04 B A 3 E M A 1 H Count your zeros 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 zeros at the end. So. And if we have the model number already in our catalog, we can reproduce this coil fairly easy for you. If we do not, in the future, we will have this in our catalog because we will use it when we build your coil the first time. <laughs>